This is a video response to Reddit user smurphy493, who asked how to whistle loudly without using fingers. Now, the way anyone ever whistles is by making a small hole, making it rigid, and forcing air through it. So when you hear people kind of hissing a little bit, it's because the hole is too flat. So when you're whistling, some people will go like this. See how my lips are kind of flat? And good whistlers make a tight little hole. Some people's lips don't do that, and that's why it's challenging for some people and not for others. Even my lips, don't they are a little bit too fatty, and it doesn't make a perfect hole when I purse them. But over time, I've learned how to shape that a little bit, and that's where the practice comes in. Now, when it comes to whistling really loudly, the trick is to make an even smaller hole and make it even more rigid. So have you seen in some of those Reddit comments, people are talking about, well, put your tongue here and press it against your lips here and curl your lips back. The reason why you get all those different answers is because everybody's mouth moves a little bit differently and everybody's tongue moves a little bit differently. But the trick is to find a way that works for you to make a very small hole very rigid. The way that works for me is like you've seen in the comments, pull my lips back tightly against my teeth like that. And the big trick to all my different kinds of whistling are to make a little indentation at the tip of my tongue. I'm retracting the tip of my tongue forcefully back into my tongue while the front edges of my tongue are forced forward. I can make that happen even more so as I start to force air past it. That indentation, I'm pushing against my rigid lips that are pulled back against my teeth. So once I force air above the roof of my mouth, down that little divot made by the indentation of the tip of my tongue, I can shape that hole, and as I shape it with air forcefully blowing past it, I can control the tune. <laughs> or higher pitch. And I have to practice a little bit before you can get the tune. But more importantly, because I've got a tiny little hole that I can now control the shape, and because I can exhale really forcefully from the bottom of my lungs, I can create a piercing loud whistle. <laughs> Once you get that divot in your tongue, you can also apply it to other surfaces in your mouth, like the roof of my mouth. Or, I can even make a small hole just by rolling my tongue. So the trick is, just make a small hole, figure out how to shape the hole a little bit, and press it really hard against either rigid lips, your teeth, or the roof of your mouth. 